Hey folks, hope you're doing well today. Just got some pickups from the past couple of weeks to run through real quickly. I'll talk about a couple of them. Uh, but uh, I forgot this little stack over here. <laughs> but uh, also, sometime in the next couple of weeks, I'll have another video. I got a couple of things from the golden, the recent golden auctions, and I think one of them really is a diamond in the rough. Uh, you had to do your due diligence to, to ascertain the true value of it. So I'm excited to get that in hand and show it off. But I'm going to start off here with uh, this. This is a set of 2002 Fleer Tradition uh, Lumber Company cards. I paid like $20 for this set. Uh, and it's, like I said, 2002, but it has names like Derek Jeter, a second year Albert Pujols, A-Rod, Frank Thomas, Chipper Jones, a bunch, of other, another, a bunch of other pretty good names in there. So for $20, couldn't pass that up. Don't remember the name of the auction house, uh, but they didn't specialize in, in baseball cards. So that's probably why it went so cheaply. But got some relic cards here. Uh, gonna start off, got this Johnny Mize out of 10. Uh, these were part of two lots that a guy had on blowout forums. I'll probably sell the Johnny Mize. Uh, there's another Johnny Mize here that I wanna keep, but I have a lot of Johnny Mize stuff because my dad liked him a lot. But uh, this one's numbered out of 10. I'll throw it up on eBay. It'll probably be like $15. I don't know. But I will keep this Joe DiMaggio. And they're, they're two separate cards. He just put them in the same thick case. Uh, but this is numbered out of 10. I do sort of like the vintage look of that, even though I do already have a Joe, a Joe D relic card. Uh, again, out of Upper Deck Baseball Heroes. This Johnny Mize. It's just a really good looking set to me. Uh, this year, Upper Deck, 2007 Upper Deck Premier. They made these for baseball, football, and basketball. Three major sports. And I just really like the look of them. Uh, have a basketball card, a basketball card coming from the set um, in that golden auction winnings. But this is numbered out of 50. Good looking card. I'll hold on to it for a while. And finally, the relic cards, <clears throat> excuse me, this Mel Ott Prime Cuts 2004. Mel Ott, if you don't know who he is, you need to look him up. 500 home run club. I think he batted over 300 lifetime average, uh, but he was overshadowed. I think because of the, the era in which he played. I mean, he, was, he had Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, a lot of great names. Uh, so in my mind, he's often overlooked. Uh, died young, died in the 50s, I don't know when, maybe 51, I don't know. Maybe that was the year, that's the year he was inducted, but I think he died, might have died that year also. Uh, number 11 of 25, really good player. Uh, picked up this stack of five Emerson Hancock 2020 Bowman Sapphires, uh, first the first Bowman's. Uh, pitching prospects, you really have to sit on them for a while uh, until they get into like the triple A's uh, or, or even make it into the majors. But uh, Emerson Hancock's one I'm not, I'm not, you know, I don't worry about sitting on him for a couple of years until he gets up. But they were $7 a piece, which was a really good price. So like that pickup. Got this stack of Eloy Jimenez. You know he's out right now injured. <clears throat> I think he's out the rest of the season. But when Players of Eloy Jimenez's caliber get injured. That really becomes a buying opportunity. So I think I paid 150. I'm not 100% sure because it's been a couple of weeks, but I think I paid 150 for the lot. Um, and I'm going to pick up more of his stuff. I'll probably get rid of the nines that are in here, but I'll probably pick up more of his stuff over the next couple of months before he returns because I think he'll come back strong. But I had this hundred or this All Star game. They put 150th anniversary. That is wrong. It's the All Star game set. Uh, PSA 9, this complete set chrome variation that came in the back of the factory set, uh, PSA 9, this base chrome PSA 9, this base chrome PSA 10, and four of these complete set variations of PSA 10, so not a bad lot. Next, sort of the higher end stuff, got this Tim Duncan, Duncan uh, 9798 Tops Chrome Rookie, a little bit of greening. Little off center, top to bottom, but it was $110. Uh, when PSA opens back up, depending on what their their tiers are like, their pricing's like when they come back, I'll probably ship this off to them. It'll, it should come back at nine, I think. But nice card. This is part of a cash trade deal for the 2019 Bowman Chrome Julio Rodriguez I had in a, a previous video, a couple of videos back. Uh, a guy reached out and asked if I'd, I'd be interested in, he reached out through the forums, the, the blowout forums, and asked if I'd be interested in letting go of it. I said, you know, you know for the right amount, I, I guess. And he offered this up in some cash, and the previous sell for this was like $400. And so I, you know, it was just too good to pass up for me. So I, I said, okay, yeah, and I'll, I don't have any desire to sit on Austin Riley. I have some of his lower end stuff. I don't really care to have higher end stuff of him right now. So I'll, I'm gonna throw this up on eBay. 
get the monetary value out of that. These were part of a big trade cash deal that we, I went back and forth on with the other guy for a, a good, bit, good bit of time. But ended up getting this 2018 Topps Update Gold Acuna. 9.5 uh, with the 9 on the corners, not the 9.5 you want to get. But I have a love-hate relationship with this set because I purchased a raw Acuna Gold off eBay and pulled a Soto Gold out of a hanger pack, and they both came back from BGS's pristine 10s. The Acuna I sold, and it ended up getting lost somewhere at the eBay Global Shipping Warehouse in Kentucky. The uh, the Soto was the cheapest PSA or uh, BGS 10 pristine gold Soto to have ever sold a few years ago for two hundred and eighty dollars. So that was the Soto was probably one of my top five regrets. Uh, two hundred and eighty for that one, but yeah, like the player, like the card. Probably not going to hold on to it long term though. Did get this really nice looking Allen Iverson 96-97 Topps Chrome Rookie. No greening at all, which is rare. Uh, nine on the centering. Good looking card. Really sharp. So This, out of all the cards I, I just got in these trades, these cash deals, uh, this is probably the only one I'd consider PC for a while. Uh, it's a 2001 Son of the Times Auto Drew Brees Rookie Year. I have a Drew Brees Absolute Memorabilia Framed Auto, but I don't have a card. Uh, so being from the rookie year, being an auto on card, I like it a lot, so I'll hold on to it. Now that said, the next card is similar, rookie year on card auto, but I, I don't plan to keep it. Aaron Rodgers, 2005 SP Authentic Rookie Fabrics, trio rookie, I mean, trio jersey thing here, has a little bit of a seam right there, I don't know what that's from, but on card auto number one of 15. And the guy I got this from said he would assume it would get a BGS 8.5 and having it in hand that's probably correct um, good looking card but I don't really care to sit on a bunch of Aaron Rodgers stuff I think he's I don't really care for him <laughs> too much so uh, but nice card so there you go just some pickups from the past couple of weeks uh, sometime in the next couple of weeks, I'll have that golden video because I'm super excited about one of the things coming in that. But uh, hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you had a favorite. Until next time, hope you have a great day. Bye.